Hey everybody, welcome back to another Deck Profile Friday. I know it's been a while, but this week I had a league challenge that I did play in. And, you know, I thought about the meta and, you know, I thought about what decks were being played. You know, Charizard, Chien Pao, you know, Lost Box, Lost Giratina, Lugia, right? Um... You know, Arceus decks, right? Ancient box, you know, future box, right? All those type of decks. And, you know, I I wanted to play a deck where I could, you know, 50-50 at least every single one of them or have uh, in my favor or, or, or the most part or most of them anyway, right? And uh, I played a deck that did have that right my only real bad matchup was charizard and that you know all the other matchups i felt like i can outspeed and outpower or you know it was really dependent on who went first so that therefore it was basically a 50 50 right so um yeah i ended up winning the event and going 4-0 uh, i ended up playing espathra in Round one, Charizard in round two, uh, Future Box in round three, and then um, Roaring Moon Dunsparce in round four. And I played Maridon Regieleki VMAX. Right, this deck is absolutely insane. Um, I wanted to play like a, a Mew like deck, and uh, this is the closest thing. I think it's got a perfect balance of basically speed, um, power, damage. Um, it can't really be locked with high, you know, like with, with, with retreat costs and stuff like that, right? Unless you have an iron hands. Well, in that case, if I have an iron hands, it's probably going to be attacking till it gets knocked out, right? So in that case, you can't really counter catcher anything up in this deck and uh just overall like it's just it, it's it's moderately defensive too right it, it can take you know um it can take some hits i just felt overall this was basically like a perfect deck with the worst match being charizard and it was only maybe like 65 35 um, at, at the most, I think it's more around like 55, 45, you know, depending if, um, they're able to get that Zard really quick. Right. And you know what my, my prize cards are. Um, but yeah, I went four no, and I, uh, took home the gold, ended up getting, uh, five prize pack series four with this. So, but yeah, we're going to get into the list here. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, here we go. So we have, to start, Triple Maride on EX. You need three, right? Um, no ifs, ands, or buts. Super consistent with tandem units. Um, I'll get into that in a second. Three Reggie Alecki VMAX. And then three Reggie Alecki V, right? This is the core of the deck, right? It's the core... Because with Regieleki, it makes Maridon EX able to one-shot a lot of things, right? And this is why, you know, going into the next format, right? With Twilight Masquerade being legal and, you know, other things, you know, coming out of the there, right? Like Raging Bolt coming back, you know? Um, it's an ancient Pokemon, right? And with 200, and I believe it's 30 HP, you know, the booster right puts it to 290 um so there's that there's dragapult right dragapult i think lacks in damage so with well, this here um i think you can definitely outspeed them and then out damage them uh to take the win but um yeah just on to the cards here Maride on ex 220 hp one retreat no resistance weak to fighting right which is um you know, the same stats as, uh, for, you know, for Reggie Lucky V, except it's 200 HP. Maridon's got Tandem Unit, which allows you to put two Lightning Pokemon onto your bench, 
right? Um, any two lightning. So typically, you know, if you start with it, you would grab itself, like another one of it, and then another um, another lightning Pokemon. Then you'd use the second one to grab two more, two different lightning Pokemon, right? You'd typically have about five or six Pokemon in play turn one, and that's what you want, right? You want to grab those Regieleckis, right? Because that's a big part of the deck, right? Um, and you t depending on the matchup, you know, you want, uh, you know, at least two, some matchups you want to play three just to make things a lot easier. Right. Um, and then photon blaster there for two lightning and a colorless does two twenty. can't use the attack next turn. Right. Uh, with the Reggie Lecky, uh, V max, you go up to 250, 280, 310, which is really good. Uh, the Reggie Lucky V there, you know, um, it's got the attack switching bolt, so it's a nice little hit and run attack. Uh, 30 for a lightning, and you can switch, right? And, you know, if it's boosted by Reggie Lucky V Max, right? Assuming you have two of them in play, and then you're attacking with that, you're it's a 90 and a switch, right? So you can throw up like a like a single prizer or a uh, two prize Pokemon that you just kind of want to save, right? Um, you could even put it into Regieleki VMAX itself so it can take a hit. And then the other attack there for a Lightning and Colorless does 100 damage. It's Lightning Wall. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 100 less damage from attacks after applying Weakness and Resistance. So that's absolutely huge, right? It makes, you know, um, it makes it really hard to KO, right, for some decks, right, a Giratina V-Star, you know, can't even loss impact KO that, right, without, like, like a Choice Belt or something like that, right, Charizard EX can't one-shot it, right, it actually has to three-shot it, providing um, we haven't taken any prizes yet, right, you know, if they've taken, uh, if we've taken two prizes, right, then it gets up to 240, Right, so it's a two-hit KO on it, which is still pretty good. But it's there to evolve into Regieleki V Max with 310 HP, free retreats, no resistance and weakness to fighting. Awesome Pokemon here. Uh, Transistor, the ability, uh, your basic Pokemon's lightning, pardon me, your lightning basic Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active. So having this in play, you know, two of them, right, you know, at the least, you're able to get into some really good numbers, right? Like Arceus is, you know, one-shotted. Giratina is one-shotted. Lugia is really easy. You hit it for weakness anyway, right? Um, so that's kind of beside the point. But, um, yeah, just a really good card, right? And that is the core of the deck, the core Pokemon, right? The deck doesn't function without these Pokemon, right? It's all based around these Pokemon. Now, the other Pokemon in the deck are another uh, are actually really important as well, but not as important as those. These Pokemon here make up the additional attackers of the deck. Well, most of them, right? We got a pair of Iron Hands, right? This is a great card, right? Um... You know, just because of the second attack. We got two Raikou V, right? This card's really good as well because it's faster, right? It's got, um, you know, a two attack cost attack, which I'll get into in a bit. We got Mew EX, right? Another really good Pokemon to have, right? Uh, we got Squawkabilly EX, not an attacker, but a great card to draw on your first turn of the game you know i've actually i actually used um you know it once in the league challenge and it actually has helped set me up even further so it's still added a lot of value would i maybe consider cutting it maybe but i do think it has a place in here right now and then lastly we got a copy of thunderous right so this thunderous here is really good uh, because with three Regieleki V Max, it puts it to 230, right? Which can, you know, obviously knock out an Iron Hands. Um, and it knocks out a lot of 
basic EX Pokemon like Chin Pao or um, Entei V, you know, uh, Roaring Moon EX, right? Stuff like that. So I think it's a great card, and then it also prevents damage to your bench, right? So you can just leave it active and then have your opponent um, try and play around with it. You know, pl pardon me, play around it with either a boss, counter catcher, or prime catcher, right? Depending on what they have in their deck, right? Some decks don't play, um, you know, boss or prime catcher. They use another A spec and um, just don't really, you know, boss at all, right? But yeah, we got Iron Hands there, 230 HP, four retreats, so we're actually really high. Um, no resistance, weakness to fighting, right? Like I said earlier, as soon as Iron Hands, you know, attacks, it's typically going to stay there until it gets knocked out, right? Because your opponent does, doesn't want us to, you know, take two prizes next turn, boss, take another two prizes, and then next turn, take another two prizes, right? Have a three-turn clock, right? Arm press, you know, for three energy does 160, right? You know, two Reggie Lucky V Max in play, right? That boosts it to 220, which knocks out a lot of Pokemon. Arceus V, Chien Pao EX, etc. And then obviously amp you very much there. Like I said, you know, it's the multi prize attack, right? Which is really good. Um yeah. Raikou V, 200 HP, one retreat, no resistance, weakness to fighting. Um, fleet footed there, uh, he allows it to draw a card, so it's really good. It's a really good switch into after a KO, right? Especially if we have a rescue board attached, which we'll get into later, right? Because it gets you that free card, right? But it also is another really good card, especially against Chen Pao, right? Because it's a two energy cost and because both decks will play full benches right they're not gonna not have five pokemon in play right they're gonna have you know they're gonna have or they're gonna have well they're not pardon me they're not gonna have four pokemon in play they're gonna have a full bench they're gonna have five pokemon on the bench right so five on each there that you're hitting for that 220 mark right and not to mention you can get get it boosted with a lucky v max with two of them, we hit that 280 mark again. So you see what I'm getting at here? That 280 mark is really huge for this deck. Mew EX. So this card is actually a really good card. Um, I've started with it a few times, and it saved my butt, definitely. Um, it's got, the obviously, the free retreat there. Uh, resistance to fighting, weakness to dark, so not... Um, you know, too bad of a weakness to have right now, 180 HP, so a little bit on the weak side, but it does make up for it, definitely with that free retreat and the ability, which uh, allows you to draw cards until you have three in your hand, and then it's attack there. Genome hacking allows you to copy one of your opponent's active Pokemon's attacks, right? So one of my favorite things to do is to... um you know, have an experience all on it, right? And then you're able to, you know, if you attach an energy, right? And then you have that attached. It gets knocked out. Like a Pokemon gets knocked out, the energy moves. You bring it up, attach the energy, right? And then, like, let's say you're playing against Giratina. You're able to knock out that Giratina really easily. So um, another really popular play is to, um, you know, genome hacking at, after you boss your opponent's Radiant Greninja and then you Moonlight Shuriken to do 90-90, right? So another really good play, especially versus Lost Box or Lost Tina. Squawkabilly there. Um, we don't really use it for anything except for its ability there, Squawk and Seize, which allows you to discard your hand and draw cards until you have six in your hands, and it can only be used on the first turn of the game. That's basically why we play it. I don't really use it for anything else. Another one retreater, which is good. And then Thunderous there, you know, like I said, right? Um, with that gigantic bolt attack, 140, you know, plus the, you know, Two lucky V maxes at the minimum, right? If you have three, you're hitting that magic number. 230 again, 220, 230 is kind of the magic number, 280 as well, right? And then you protect yourself 
uh, from bench damage, right? Also, a really good card, too, to uh, promote, uh, to knock out Charizard EXs, right? Especially if they've taken a hit with, like, a Maraidon or a Raikou, right? Just a nice way to respond KO and not really giving your opponent much. But that is the Pokemon. There is only 16 Pokemon, and that's what makes it super consistent. You don't need anything fancy. You just need to have a lot of speed. So, um, trainer supporters and stadiums. We got four Professor's Research. Right? This is an absolute best card in the deck for draw. Um, triple boss. Right? We still want to be aggressive. Right? Um, and that allows us to go after our opponents, you know, uh, you know, V Pokemon like Giratina, Lugia, right? Arceus, as well as damaged Charizard EXs that don't get Turroed, right? Because as soon as we hit them with that Maridon, they're probably going to retreat. They're going to retreat or Turro uh, and go to the next Zard. So we got two Arvin, right? It's another really good card here. We do play a lot of tools, which is why we play this card. Right, and it gets us our generators. It gets us, you know, another really popular combo is grabbing a switch and rescue board in this with the same card, right? Switch, attach the rescue board, and then retreat back, right? So it just allows you to, you know, attack with let's say Reggie like EV Max or Maride on EX again. One Iono, right? Just for some disruption, right? This card is a fairly flexible card, right? I think it's a you know, a good draw card to have, right? And I think it just pushes you a little bit more over, uh, you know, the the threshold of having, you know, not enough draw to having to having enough draw, right? And then lastly, our stadium of choice is Town Store, right? I use this stadium. This is one of the best stadiums in the game right now. Town Store. Um, allows you to search for pretty much any Pokemon tool card. And like I said, we play a lot. So you definitely want to be playing this. That is it for these supporters in the stadiums. We'll get into the trainer cards. Right? So the trainer cards. Really good part of the deck here. And we're going to start off with the best one for trainers. Electric generator. We got four, right? Gets our energy into play faster since Flaffy's gone. Right, for Ultra Ball, we need the Ultra Ball to search for our Lucky V Maxes, right? And it also reduces our hand size down, so we can you know, use Muse Restart. To Experience All, right? This allows us to keep our energies into play, which is huge, right? Like I said, we don't have that Flaffy in play, um, so we need this to keep attacking. Two Forest Seal Stone, right? This card is super important. This is what makes the deck uh, really consistent. Not that it already isn't, but just more consistent, right? You need two. I, I see a lot of lists play one. Don't play one, play two, play the extra one, right? Um, and it's a great card to get out of the deck with Town Store, even if you need to um, just thin the deck because you can just Ultra Ball it away or whatever, right? Singles here, so we got Bravery Charm. This is a really good card, you know, especially in, um, you know, like like other matchups, right? With, uh, you know, like like mirror matches or um, another good card versus Chien Pao. You know, you're able to force them to have that extra energy, right? Um, that Raikou, you put it on a Raikou, puts it to 250. Right, so they have to discard, you know, five energies to knock out a Raikou, which is crazy, right? Iron Hands is another really good one, right? Um, a spec of choice, maximum belt. This is the best one, right? We hit some insane numbers with two Reggie Lucky V Max and a Maridon attacking with this. You're you're hitting that magic number on Charizard, which is three thirty. Right, if you have three like EV Max, you're hitting another up to 360. Right, so you're hitting some insane numbers with a new supporter that came out in Twilight Masquerade. I think it's Kieran or Kiernan. Right, you're able to hit up to 390 damage. So even you know a Tina or a Lugia or or Arceus with a Hero's Cape 
can't stop this, right? And also, it's another really good card, too. Um, you know, I, I forgot to mention, too, the Gardevoir matchup, right? But the Gardevoir matchup, you, you know, with the triple Alaki VMAX and Maridon attacking, you're hitting that 310, which one-shots a Gardevoir EX, right? Nest Ball, more basic Pokemon search. We only need one. We play Ultra Ball. We got Tandem Unit, right? This is all that we need. Rescue Board, our Switch Card, or pardon me, our Free Retreat Card, like I mentioned earlier. Fantastic card, and it goes along with the Switch here, right? Really good card here to have um, as you're able to kind of move in and out. And then we have our Technical Machine De-Evolution here, the last uh, trainer card, right? And this is really good versus Charizard too. I used this actually once to get a huge KO on a Charizard EX, which got devolved to a Charmeleon while they left a Radiant Charizard that had three retreat active, right? So another really good card. Now that is it for the trainers. So we're going to do the energies. Energies are really simple. It's a really simple deck to play, right? You just want to be focused on consistency and speed and setting up the same time, right? We're for our energies, right? We got lightning energies. It's a higher energy count deck. We play 15, right? So we've got 13 lightning and then two double turbo. The double turbo are huge. Right, uh, especially for Iron Hands and Reggie Lucky V Max. Basically, everything in the deck can be used as an attacker. All right, and that is what we want to do, right? Um, double Turbo is great too, especially with uh, Mew EX, right? You put that experience all on there, right? You have a boss in hand, you're able to boss that Greninja, right? Attach Double Turbo, Genome Hacking, Moonlight Shuriken to knock out two Comfies on the bench. Like, it's, it's a crazy good card, right? And there's a lot of Pokemon that can use it in here. So, um, yeah, that's the uh, that's the deck. So, hopefully you all enjoyed that. This is probably the best Maridon list out there. You know, I've been playing this for a long time, right? And, um, yeah, this is just, it's speed, strength, power, durability. Basically all around, I think it's definitely a tier one deck. And um, yeah, hopefully you all enjoy it and give it a try. So I might do a video in the future on, uh, you know, kind of the matchup spread on how to, how to beat uh, all the decks, right? So um, yeah, there you go. So yeah, yeah. Um, just a little bit uh, further as well, this upcoming weekend, we got some Twilight Masquerade that we're going to be opening on Sunday, right? This will be a cool one, and then we're going to be doing that for probably the next three weeks after as well. So we're trying to get uh, you know more of that, uh, that set. So, But yeah, there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and once again, see you in the next video.